Hi, here's Roboter again. In this episode, we will try to recreate a spectrum analyzer in the scope. Let's see how a spectrum analyzer works, like Analyzer by Bog Audio. We put a track in the sampler, but the audio signal can be the one that comes out from the mixer. The scope shows voltage in the y-axis, through time, in the x-axis. What a spectrum analyzer shows is, in a given window of time, the number of decibels in the y-axis, for every band of frequencies, measured in hertz in the x-axis. To get the view of the spectrum analyzer within scope, we will multiply the mono signal 8 times to show 8 bands. So we add the module polymult. Every channel goes through a bandpass filter that cuts out everything but the band we choose. This process can be pretty CPU intensive, but this is just an experiment. We have to set bandpass BP in the module. Now with Polycon 8, we can insert constant voltages to adjust the cut frequency for every channel. We have to plug it into the CV input. In the right-click menu of Polycon 8, we have to set the number of channels to 8. Then turn the knob all the way up. The knob of the cutout frequency is at 0, and Polycon 8 is sending the voltage for every channel. We have to distribute different bands on separate channels, from the lowest frequencies to the highest. Now it's time to the horizontal axis. With LLFO we set the width of every bar, and then offset puts them one after the other. The amplitude from the filter is too low, so we need to add VC amp to amplify it. The shape of the LFO must be square. We speed it up and reduce the scale to make the bar thinner. Now with Polycon 8, we shift the offset for every channel. The offset knob must be all the way up. Now we raise the resonance of the filter to make the amplitude higher. It's time to see how it looks on oscilloscope. This graphic is not accurate at all, but it looks good in the scope. Analyzer XL shows every channel with a different color, so it's more clear how this visualization works. Let's change the plot type to kaleidoscopic. Maybe better hardware is needed to plot the signals on time. I'm pretty sure there's a smarter way to accomplish this and make it more efficient. Let us know what do you think. Thanks for watching. If you want to keep this channel alive, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell.